Hi guys, welcome back to the Order 1886. We cleared out a house full of some Milamites or whatever the Lady Igreen called them. But now we're in here. We're gonna clear out this place now. So we're on our own now. The other two. The other two. Our are going to, way. to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. Big open plane. Gun out, but I can't aim. Anything in here? There's a doorway there, but I think it leads to the same place. Policeman. This one's missing. Gunner, an arm. are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Women, was it? But I have not met any resistance yet. Okay, well, I'm outside now. I'm not. Push for. No. Over this way. Am I jumping down? No. Am I going up? Yeah, I am. No, I've got to climb mount. Okay. Why can't I just jump over the chain and then over that box to nowhere? That as well, for fuck's sake. Come here, you, you little bitch. Okay. I pushed X, for fuck's sake. Again, you bastard. And again, 
nowhere. I pushed fucking X for fuck's sake. Fuck off, you little bitch. Most of them, the last one got away. Ukraine, I need your arm I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Saved her this time. Yes. Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. So they just leaving it there, are they? Sir, what should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? 
We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. Interesting! <clears throat> I heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not stand for it. Our brother Knight has made a habit of contravening his orders lately. Well, I take it I can't walk past them, so I've got to go this way. Brother Percival's insubordination. Who's this guy? Does everyone have their like their own seat and their own badge? It's a big table. I'm guessing that's the Chancellor's seat. 
as it's pushed out. And then that must be the Queen's throne. Can I talk to you? But no? father, what if Percival is right? We seldom have time to sit and wait if the rebels are behind this. The council has made its ruling. There is nothing more to discuss, Isabeau. We should at least gather some intelligence. The authorities will see to that. Father, the Order cannot stand idly by while half-breeds roam our streets. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the Council's wisdom? Okay, whatever. Yes. We'll leave them to bicker amongst themselves. I can't run again. God damn it. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alastair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur. About the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. We're going on a mission. This way, please. Ah, Tesla. Just the man. Oh. I'm guessing it's that guy who's just turned right. I can't run or anything, though, so you have to wait for me. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. A 
Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Ooh. Let's see what I can play with, shall we? Alright, let's have a look. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. The man is an idiot. What is this here? It's quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Huh. What's this guy doing? What are you doing, sir? No, nothing. I'm stuck. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Hmm. All gibberish to me. It's all gibberish to me as well. Nicola, you sly dog. Uh, what's this? What we got over here then? Have we looked at that? Ooh. That's Sir Galahad. Guns. Lots and lots of guns. Uh, Sir Galahad. Okay, I'll be with you in a second. I'm just looking around. Oh, gonna be over here. Right, okay, let's talk to you. Hello. Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Everything looks so old fashioned in this game. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Okay. It oh, can be a bit difficult. Ah. Aha, I got it. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one. With a telescopic sight, it's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. With pleasure. Okay, I'm inspecting. Oh, okay. There's a... Recoil is sharp. Your 
skills never cease to amaze me. Ha! Huh. Oh. You may want to avail yourself of the variable magnification. Can I hold my breath? Nicely balanced. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Well, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. Ah. A lot of cutscenes in this game, isn't there? We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of Cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there. I right, I'm going to end the episode here. That was before even my time. Or after they've stopped the city stopped walls talking. Yet to come up. Now you can smell my chapel. Damn, look at the size of that knife on his back. I'm guessing that's my main weapon. Right, yeah, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. If you liked this episode, please give it a like. Or enjoyed the episode, give it a like. And maybe subscribe. And have a good day.